Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna share my um, Fiesta Wear collection. It's behind me. I've had a few questions since this is my backdrop um, about my Fiesta Wear and I have been collecting for quite some time and I have amassed quite the collection and so I thought that I would share it today. Um, this is where my main collection sits in my big hutch right here in my dining room, but I have other stuff in my kitchen and my coffee area and then even over here in my bay window. So I'll just walk around and give you a little tour. Okay, so here we go. Today I'm going to share the Fiesta collection. <laughs> um, it's decorated for fall right now. I have um, a thankful sign and some pom-pom garden that I recently made. Um, this hutch is perfect for Fiesta. I just load it full. I love all the color it brings to my dining room. I actually chose this paint color behind the hutch from the turquoise Fiesta wear. It's a perfect match. So my Fiesta wear collection is not um, complete without talking about this colander. This was my very first piece that my mama gave to me when I was a senior in high school. I've been collecting for almost 20 years if you want to figure out my age. <laughs> um, I love this piece. It made me fall in love with Fiesta. I had always loved it, but this was, yeah, sealed the deal. So ever since then, I collected it. So I have the colander and turquoise. I have this sugar and cream set in shamrock. I've got the egg, uh, the deviled egg tray in shamrock, the hostess tray in peacock, a uh, persimmon pitcher, and this um, Fiesta toaster. It's also one of my prize pieces. My aunt got me this for um, a wedding gift. So I love to display that. I have some candlesticks, the um, the big tray is the, oh, I forgot what it's called, but it was the Marigold 75th anniversary uh, platter in Marigold. And my um, world ride best friend forever, Lacey, gave that to me when I was in her wedding um, as maid of honor. So I will just cherish that piece forever. I just have a little green um, plate just uh, there for color. And then I have the pass along plate that I got from. Um, Yonkers years and years ago. I have some corn trays and a bread tray and then just cereal bowls. We don't usually use these. They're just really not big enough. But of course I display them for the color. Um, let's see, I can take this down too. I have a um, plum pitcher, a scarlet pie plate. I love these vegetable bowls. These are perfect for salads or just serving vegetables, whatever it may be. I've had those for a while too. And a lot of these I actually get from, or have gotten in the past from the Canton Dish Barn in Fort Worth, Texas. No, in Canton, Texas, sorry. Um, and they have seconds. And some of these might have like a little discoloration or a tiny little chip or something that no one would ever notice. And you get them for so cheap. I love, love, love to go there anytime I'm in the area. Um, this I got from there as well. That was missing the lid. And I think they were like $2 or something. I have quite a few of these actually that I got from, from there. Um, the little teapots. I have my ramekin collection back here. What color is it? I think it's plum or navy. It's back here, yeah. And then just another little random uh, sugar sugar bowl up there that came from that um, Canton dish barn. These are all just little teacup plates. I don't use these a ton, but they're so pretty for display. This is the covered casserole in sunflower. Um, what were these bowls called? They came with this uh, scarlet, a yellow, and then an orange, which is somewhere. Um, they're nesting bowls, maybe, or mixing bowls. I'm not sure. A um, sunflower pie plate. This is the square piece here is the um, napkin holder, I think is what it was called. I have some little salt and pepper shakers. This back here, I don't know if you can see that, has the it's a trivet actually and it has the dancing lady on it. These are more vegetable bowls. We love these in our house. 
These are the, um, what were these called? The hostess bowls? Pedestal bowls? I forget, but I have one in scarlet and one in shamrock. And this piece, I don't know what it's called. It was one of my very first pieces to collect. Um, it's really big and it has kind of this design on the bottom. Um, I don't even know where I got it from. I'm sure my mama got it for me, but I love that piece. It's so pretty. Take this down. I have... I have over here some more of the smaller plates. These come in like the five piece play settings or the four, mm, four or five piece, I can't remember. Um, I don't use these a ton, sometimes for desserts and stuff, but I like to keep them displayed here. I found this little guy from um, Tuesday morning a couple years ago. I've seen them here and there on different um, social media sites, so I think you can still get them. I love these au gratin dishes for um, like baked eggs and different things um, for single serving dishes. They're so pretty. I have these divided bowls. I think they have a name, but I don't know what they're called. In shamrock and um, sunflower, I have a ton of these um, platters, trays, whatever you call them. Some of them, like these, are a little bit deeper. They're almost like bowls. And then these are more like just stray cross trays that you could eat like a big Mexican meal on or something like that. I love those. These I've had forever. More cereal bowls. A vase. Another one of those teapots. Vegetable bowl. More platters. I love these. Behind here is a, um, this is one of the big chop plates that you can put on the, um, on the, what is this called? The hostess bowl. You turn this over and you put the plate on top of it and make a cake stand. But I have this in scarlet. And then I have these nesting balls. Are these the nesting balls? The mixing balls? I forget. But I have the three of those in scarlet. Sorry. And then I have another pie plate back here. I love to have um, the pie plates for holidays. And so red, of course, goes with most holidays. And then I have a yellow here as well for Thanksgiving so that I can have all my pies in beautiful plates. I also have this um, cutting board, this Fiesta cutting board. A lot. Twist it open here and all of the utensils are right inside. If I can get it open with one hand. I just think that is so pretty. I love, love, love that. Your hosting cheese and crackers looks so pretty on there. On this, I pull the side my gravy boat, which also I use for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving, I use this um, my tangerine, I use my sunflower, and my scarlet, and my marigold as well. That is what I use for Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, I'll show you in a minute. And then I have the bread loaf pan as well, <coughs> and the sunflower. Let me put this stuff back. So that is all the stuff on display. Sadly, I have to keep some of it down here in these cabinets because I just cannot fit everything um, up there on the shelves. So I have another one of these teapots. And I do take these out and, and put some out and put some down every now and then to display different colors. Um, there's a black casserole. I like to use that one for Halloween. A covered casserole. Um, a marigold gusto bowl. A sunflower gusto bowl. I have these somewhere else as well, but I have those two colors, so those just stay in there until we need them. This is oh, what is this called? A um, I can't think of it, but it's a big round. That's not fiesta where I'm talking about. Um, bowl. I love to use this one for Thanksgiving too. Um, and then of course I have my rectangle bakers in um scarlet and sunflower some more vegetable bowls that's the square baker and peacock I love to use those I don't use them enough I definitely use them for the holidays and that makes everything so fun but I should really use them um, every day this is the big sunflower pizza platter I love that another square baker and sunflower and I just have um, overflow teacups and some overflow um, cereal bowls in here too so that's that. This um, shamrock pitcher. Often I'll take the pitchers out and um, put them up here and then take some down and put them below so that I can display everything. 
got a store, my favorites. My Christmas lights fiesta. Oh, I just love this stuff so much. I actually found this at Yonkers. Oh, maybe eight years ago it was. We had just gotten married and I saw it and um, I called my mom and I said, oh mama, it was around Halloween this time of year. And um, I just loved it and she said, get it and it'll be your Christmas present. So <laughs> we debated how many um, plates I should get. There was only two of us at that time, <laughs> me and my husband. So we settled on 12 because you just never know. <laughs> They are beautiful. I love that they have all of the colors of Fiesta that I collect. So these are charger uh, luncheon plates. And so I can use my regular Fiesta plates as more of like a charger under them. Oh, I just love it. I got um, the bread tray later. And then this, two years ago, I think I found this um, serving bowl that goes with it. I love that. And then I have the two jumbo mugs and then just the one small mug. I like to, when I entertain, um, to put my silverware in the mugs and so I, I flank it with like a shamrock and a scarlet and then I'll put the knives and the spoons and the forks in there. I just love these. I think they're so pretty. I would love to have more and I would love to have the Halloween trio, the pumpkin trio collection for Halloween. I don't have any Halloween fiesta and I think that would be so fun too but maybe one day. I have two of the bread trays. There's one hiding back there. And then I have these for Valentine's, the hearts. I have this one in flamingo. And then I have the bigger heart in scarlet. I love those. They're so cute. Next, we'll move over here to my teacup collection. Um, my husband actually found me this at a um, an estate sale. I can't remember if it was used in a post office or what, but it was used here in our little town. And so I thought it was perfect to display all of my little teacups. Because we don't use these, so... <laughs> It's nice to have them displayed right under here in my bay window in my dining room. I just love the little pop of color over there in the corner. It's so cute. As we move into the kitchen, I have some of my Fiesta goblets displayed here on an old rake. And then we move up, and this is my everyday. This is what we use, at least me and my husband. My kids usually use the paper. <laughs> So I keep all of my plates here and then my gusto bowls which we love I mean these are perfect for everything really everything we love these and like you saw I have an extra sunflower and marigold under my um, stash too if we have if we need to get those out then we have those too and then up here I have the glasses I have these bigger ones and then I have the smaller kind of juice glasses I love those. I think they're so pretty. We do not use these a ton because I don't even know where you find them anymore and I do not want them to get broken. <laughs> so on this side of the kitchen, I have the um, salt and pepper shakers. I had, like you saw in my, um, in my hutch, the smaller ones, but these are just so much better for cooking and having on the range. So I just keep them right there with my um, persimmon spoon rest. I have some other little small, I call them hot air balloon ones, I don't know what they're called, but um, in turquoise on my actual table too. And then I have the butter dish, the canisters in sunflower, scarlet, um, cobalt, and turquoise. And then I have this, I got this from the Kenton Dish Born too. You, they just had them all in big um, bins and you picked out which color you wanted. And so I got the turquoise, the persimmon, and the sunflower for that. I have the knife block, which nobody gets to use, <laughs> much to my husband's dismay. I like it for display only. <laughs> these are some of my more recent purchases. Um, I, got, I think these are being discontinued, I'm not sure, but I got them off of, did I get them at Macy's? online uh, I think it was Macy's uh, earlier in the spring I think it was um, so I got these bowls and they all have lids I just love this little one here isn't it cute and um, I got the I can't remember where I got these actually maybe Amazon the um, cups the measuring cups and the measuring spoons and then I found the knives 
Uh, I think these were at Macy's too. I love these and they actually cut great like we use them daily. And the spatula is beautiful and then this, I love this. I use it any chance I can get. The whisk is so pretty. And then these mixing bowls, um, I love these but they did start, the Fiesta did come off um, on these. When I, I just hand washed them, I didn't put anything in the dishwasher but they're still great and I love the colors. So this is some of my newer pieces that I love. On here, inside um, the drawer of my hutch, I have my serving pieces that I love. I wish to get some more of these. Um, I really love to use these at my holiday celebrations, and sometimes there's just not enough. <laughs> They're so pretty. And we'll end over here at my coffee station. I just love this. I actually found this little stand at um, Hobby Lobby, my husband cut, it was a bird on top of it and he just cut that right off so it would fit under my um, cabinet tree. And I just keep my um, Keurig pods, K-Cups, and all of my Fiesta mugs and my little um, sugar caddy all over here. And I just think it looks so cute and so inviting and so colorful, which I love. <laughs> and that's it. That is my Fiesta Wear collection. Well, that's it. That is my collection. I really appreciate y'all watching and following along with me. I really adore my Fiesta Wear collection. It's one of my prized possessions and I just love it. So it was so fun to get to share it with you today. Um, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.